Sinawo Makangela. She joins us now from Tata in the Eastern Cape. Now, oh, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's start with uh, former President Jacob Zuma and how likely it is, you think, uh, that this case will be postponed yet again. Well, good morning, Naledi. Good morning to the viewers at home. It's, it's, uh, it's highly possible. It's highly possible because the basis for the postponement is that uh, the former president is ill-disposed and the statement was issued by those who are keeping him. That is the Department of Correctional Services. And they based um, their action uh, in Section 35 of the Constitution. So the court is unlikely to proceed in the absence of the accused person. It's, it's, it's the practice, it's what is happening on a daily basis. But of course, that application must be made before Judge Kuhn tomorrow, and uh, good reasons must be advanced why the case cannot uh, proceed tomorrow. Mm. What do you make of the, some of the, you know, the reports that we're hearing, especially from the uh, Jacob Zuma Foundation itself around the ill health of the former president? Just towards the end of last week, the foundation said that there is, not, uh, there is really no great reason for us to be concerned about the former president's health. Today, though, we're hearing a, a change in the tone coming out of the foundation. What do you make of that? Well, because the indication is that it was a normal routine checkup. But of course, once the person was admitted, and then there are some developments. So obviously, there is something that the doctors or those who are taking care of his health have noticed. And uh, hence, they say the lawyers now are engaging with the NPA to find a better way of handling the matter so that everyone can be convinced that indeed there is a tangible reason why this matter cannot proceed tomorrow because the person is in the hands of the health professionals. Yeah, the reason why I ask this question specifically is because the former president himself has talked about wanting to stand trial for this massive corruption case here and these charges that he faces and yet it still hasn't happened. It's been years in the making. Do, are you still confident? that we're going to see that day? Well, now let the, the trial has started. Charges have been put to him. He has pleaded. So it means the trial is in progress. At least now there's a direction, unlike the previous years. But now, as uh, Judge Kuhn has indicated, that they are just dealing with now a, what you call, uh, the special plea that has been raised by the president. That is a point of law that must be argued before and before the state can lead its own evidence to prove its case. So the trial has started. Yeah. Well, it is going to be a very busy political week. Another big story, of course, is Ace Marashule appealing uh, the ruling on his suspension. Do you think that this is going to work out for him, or could this be the end of the road for the SG? Well, with, uh, with that one, it's a bit of a 50-50. Three judges of the Gauteng Division have agreed they could not see any malice on the side of his organization. So hopefully he's betting on those now, uh, the, the other judges, to find something different. So mm -hmm. I, th I think he is convinced, but I don't know. Uh, as I say, three judges we usually bank in the full court if there are three judges. You know that at least there must be one judge who agrees with you. So those three judges have agreed. But of course, we know even three judges can be wrong. Supreme Court of Appeal has overtaken those decisions. Again, the SA can be wrong. And then ultimately, the Constitutional Court pronounces. And then that will be the end of the matter. Yeah. Just lastly, before I let you go, um, obviously a big week in the courts for two major figures within the African National Congress that really represent a very, a very specific faction. Are we seeing a weakened RET faction within the African National Congress? Well, it is out there for everyone to see now that uh, the, the faction has been playing out all day long. But of course, the, the leadership of the ANC has been saying it's cleaning up, and in its cleaning up campaign, there will always be that resistance. So when they speak about those things, others would say there's a resistance. Others would be saying there's a flouting of the same rules and the law that must be applied, and that law must be applied equally to everyone. Whatever program that you are pursuing, at least that must be in line with the founding documents, the constitution, the rules, the regulations. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, we do really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for speaking to us this morning. That was political commentator Snao Makangela.